you lads. Oh no. Dave. Oh man, this game's so frustrating sometimes. Ah, oh, I don't know. Definitely, definitely, definitely do not deserve to draw or lose to this guy. Sometimes you come up against a guy and you say, yeah, look, he deserved his equaliser, but there's no way I'm going to go sweat. Yeah. <laughs> ah, I do feel guilty, lads, but I don't care. I don't deserve this. Get up to Hallam. Just win it. I did win it. I'm not in camera with it. Oh man, I don't know. What is the crack lads? We are back. So the first part of that video was a continuation of episode 16. Disaster, absolute disaster. And I did obviously break down a couple of the clips in it, but yeah, we're gonna be getting into that in a future, future episode. But V1.1.4 and me are just not getting on. I just feel like there's just so much kind of like messing with it. There's so much like, kind of fighting against the game, fighting against actually controlling your own players. Um, I don't mind when I make a mistake, but when I am getting punished the way I'm getting punished so quickly from attack to defense, it's just very frustrating. Um, and a lot of the goals that I'm conceding seem to be like that the, there's nothing I can really do about them. You know, it's misplaced headers, it's clearances that don't clear. It's, um, you know, it, it more so, and it's it's not just for me, it's, it's, it's against me, or it's not just against me, but it's for me as well. Um, I think the biggest problem, I think, is the auto pressure. I think that they've really manu or automated the, the defending. Like, you'll see the dribble in here. But he's just, like, there's no, um, there's no skill here in what he's doing. He's just ma making the defender. Obviously, up in Meccano is a beast of a player, and he gets his shoulder across. But that's never going to be a penalty in the box. So you can jam the shoulder charge in there. You can jam tearing the ball away from me. Again, here I beat the offside trap. Beautiful ball into Pedri. He's going to get back as best as he can. Little bit of a tricky one. Put the ball into a really, really good area. No, I lie. I mean, that is just absolutely shocking. The ball comes back in and the keeper gets a little nudge on it there. But we will rewind that back in a sec. Like, look, I mean, how is Pedri not squaring that in the box? Like, that is literally a tap across the box. It's just so frustrating. And again, he's on the attack here. He makes absolutely bits of me. I put it across. Good defending, good attacking. This guy isn't a bad player. He is obviously abusing, I would say, and uh, really heavy on the the defender AI and the problem is is that in before v1.1.4 if he was defending like this and he was playing this heavy on the you know the assistance with the defensiveness or the defense side of the assistance he would be getting punished once I've been beat whereas in this with v1.1.4 he can afford to miss time his tackle he can afford to do you know really really poor play um I have to walk it in at the end but it is just very frustrating, lads. It's very frustrating, I think, when you are, when you do have to go away from what you enjoy playing to get results. And, you know, that's just my problem I'm finding at the moment is that, like, this guy, again, it's not talking about any about his skill level. I mean, you can see there I run past the ball from the kickoff, try to intercept the ball. Back in here, I get out of position. But watch this here. I can't get Maldini here, lads. I literally cannot take control of Maldini in this area of the pitch. I'm going to rewind this back and have a little fresh look at it. But right here, right, we're going to we're going to go wind this back. Right here, I'm trying to get Maldini from here, from here, from here. It switches on to De Jong. I'm still trying to get him in that split second, maybe two seconds, trying to get Maldini. And then he gives it to me when the ball's in the air. That's obviously a bit of an issue with the AI when the ball goes up in the air like that, L1 triangle, which is like a true ball, lobbed ball kind of true. Again, here you'll see I'm jamming this to pass the ball, nothing comes up, and then it takes obviously a manual try pass and I get intercepted. So I am showing a lot of these issues because they are frustrating to me. I still think that there is a really good game to be had here and you'll see that when the game actually flows here and it's like one touch passing possession play overlapping defenders you know busting into space 
A lovely square in here to Messi. Try to walk it in. Brilliant save from the keeper. When the game actually flows and you can kind of ignore a couple of the breakages in animations and stuff, I think that the game actually plays really well. And then he catches me on the break because I started that break with Roberto Carlos. I try to pressure him. I don't know what happens there, but I do try to pressure him. And he gets a lovely goal in. That was a really nice goal from him. That was, uh, you know, all that I kind of do like about the game. And that's what I'm saying. I don't mind losing if I make the decision to bring Carlos up who bangs one in there. If I make the decision to bring Carlos forward and absolutely go for a goal and then I get caught in the break and he's patient enough to be able to pick a pass into the box and score, I'm fine with that. You know what I mean? I'll live with that. But the other stuff, yeah. I mean, the less said about it, the better. Now, we do get into another match against this guy. He's got 82 team playstyle level. He's got Salah, Son, Messi, and Ronaldo. He's pretty much playing a four-man strike force up front with Ronaldo and Messi leading the line and then two good wingers in Son and in Bap or Salah. But again, here you'll see Modric just pushing me out of the way, bullying me out of the way. And this was, again, this was kind of another game, one of these, where I just felt like I had to walk everything in. And I do get a lovely goal there from Pedri. And that kind of set the, set the tone, really, where he gets his own assist on a diving header. That kind of set the tone for this match against this guy. Obviously, he didn't have as good a team as um as you know other players that i would get he was struggling to break my press i was just really aggressive in this game pedri was absolutely beasting lovely ball in here walking it in what a save but i do get that in the back of the net from a little dirty little rebound that i usually concede like that as well so it does come back around and as i said lads i think sometimes people you know when i'm putting out videos and stuff i foul him there with a penalty that's my mistake that's no problem that's totally my mistake I think when I'm putting out YouTube and putting out YouTube videos and content and stuff, obviously what you're seeing um, sometimes is different to what I'm actually feeling when I'm playing. And, you know, you should you should obviously know that from playing the game, that sometimes when you're making a decision or you're trying to get control of a player, it mightn't flick on the screen where it's like, oh, you should have picked Roberto Carlos there instead of getting control of Maldini. But I might have wanted to be getting control of Maldini and it just didn't flick him. So it can be very frustrating sometimes and I think that's why I try to keep as patient as possible because when you lose the head nothing works for you but when stuff happens like this you just have to walk the ball in sometimes and i think that's the thing that i've learned is that like not to lose the head if i can read my opponent just try and commit forward when i know i can commit forward like this with Vieira. and this is another thing i wanted to highlight we saw one of these in the bat in the last game as well um where pedri absolutely missed the main man now i'm literally tapping that across you can see the bar is like what a little under half and it just goes straight past him and into Carlos. And again, you'll see there, Ronaldo just ghosting past me. Lovely ball in and it's a bad miss. That could have easily been a goal for him. But it should have been four for me, to be fair. Um, again, I get into space here, Roberto Carlos. First time kind of volleyball. This guy is leaving so much space. Ansu Fadi is going to go in. I take my... Uh, hand off the controller sprint button and then just slot it home into the corner in off the post 4-0 and again lads this is just a bit of a mixed match of a game and i think that this was kind of happening i don't know like i mean there's another example there where the players just kind of completely lose track of um of the ball you know what i mean and it's like well what are they actually doing there so things like that can be frustrating you'll see maldini goes to ground here and then up in meccano i'm trying to get control of him and he just goes down i don't know man it's just this is the sort of stuff i'm talking about you know when the game plays well it's really 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 good but when it doesn't play well and stuff like that happens once you kind of see it it's hard to it's hard to not get frustrated by it and again straight from the kickoff i just get acres of space and it's back to a 5-1 lead four goals up to the good um as i said this guy he didn't have a team that was going to be able to compete with my team of superstars um i will be doing a new squad quite soon because i need to do something to freshen it up i'm just waiting for for the, the 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 update that's going to be coming next thursday um but yeah i mean when you have the ball in these areas of the pitch and things are responsive and you're able to do things um it's very hard to defend it and obviously we will close out this match with another penalty and with another victory here but uh yeah let me know what you guys are thinking lads because i will be going into an analysis video quite soon but let me know what you guys are thinking don't forget to subscribe and check out the other videos in this series i'll be back to you with you later peace